Hey guys, it's Adam with a follow-up to the Bitcoin hardware wallet workshop I did the other day. So we did this in person, but I'm going to kind of fly through it in a video so that you can have it for posterity. Um, basically, we're going to get a USB stick or two USB sticks actually. And instead of buying an expensive, fancy hardware wallet for $80 to $200, we're going to use one of these cheapos that we might have lying around or we might purchase online or at London Drugs or something. And we're going to flash this with Tails, which is a secure Linux operating system. And that's going to isolate our computing environment from our regular uh, operating system. So whatever viruses or malware we have, um, it's not going to be able to affect us when we're running in Tails. Um, so the first thing to do is download the Tails image. You can go to tails.net and then go to install Tails and there's going to be instructions here on how to download it. It's about 1.3 gigs. And then you're going to want to use some uh, application like Belina Etcher. Uh, that's a separate application that you use to flash images onto USB drives. So yeah, I'll just let you follow the, the instructions here. It's pretty self-explanatory. But by the end of it, you'll have a USB stick with Tails on it. You'll put that into your laptop, reboot, and then as your laptop's starting up, if it doesn't bring up Tails right away, you might need to go into your BIOS settings. So you can hold F2 or it might be F10 as you're booting up. And that should bring up a menu where you can go and uh, choose to boot off a USB. Every BIOS menu is a little bit different, so I don't know exactly how it will be labeled, but it might be called boot order or something like that. You'll want to make sure that USB is the first option. And then once we're booted into Tails, it's going to look like this. I'm running this in a virtual machine, but uh, yeah, you actually want to be running it off the USB if you're doing it properly. And so this environment is not going to be on the internet and it's going to be totally isolated from you know whatever operating system you have so this is where we're going to go and generate our bitcoin seed phrase we're going to go to applications internet and electrum bitcoin wallet so this electrum wallet comes with tails you don't need to install it um, we're going to keep persistence disabled we're not going to persist this wallet we're just going to press launch and use this to generate our 12 word phrase so take a second here here it comes we're going to create a default wallet let's keep it the default standard we're going to create a new seed segwit that's the default that's a modern bitcoin address format and here we have our seed so you want to make sure that when you're doing this, you're alone. You don't have anyone recording you. There's no camera. Uh, you don't want to read this aloud or anything. Just kind of be careful because whoever has this seed is going to have access to the funds that we're going to put into this wallet. So I took a picture of it. That's a big no-no <laughs> just so I can copy it back in instead of writing down. I'll just Save me a bit of time here. Um, this options button, this is where we can extend our seed with custom words. So I was explaining in the workshop that um, if you put these 12 words into like a safety deposit box or you just have them written down and someone finds that piece of paper, um, it's game over. They're going to be able to take all the funds. So uh, this, this is a way of getting a little bit uh, tricky where you can write down these 12 words but then have some additional secret words that only you know that you keep stored separately or you memorize them, or maybe you give one to each of your family members or something. But the idea is that they're, they're separate from the, the 12 words so that if an attacker did get a hold of the seed, they don't know that there's this additional part of the seed that they need. You could even put some funds into the addresses that come up when you just do the 12 words by themselves as a decoy. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna do that today, but it's something to think about. So I'm gonna say donuts are awesome. That's gonna be my extension words. 
and we'll hit next. And we have to verify our seed now, just retype it, govern royal, and you shouldn't be reading it aloud. Aerith, glide, arrange, bless, swamp, express, amateur, sense. Here's our extension words. Donuts are awesome. And leave the password blank because we're not storing this wallet on fails. Um, once we're done with it, it's going to get wiped out. What really matters is that we've written down those 12 words, made a copy of them, stored it somewhere else. So if one of them gets burned or stolen or lost, you have another copy. And now we're going to go view uh, show addresses and we'll be able to see all the deposit addresses that were generated here. So we can fund any one of these. I'm just going to pick the top one here. And in order to fund it, uh, this is where the second USB stick comes in. We're going to use a another USB stick that's formatted as FAT32 so that it can be read by pretty much any operating system. And um, well, let me just copy this into a text file. So I'll go to Applications, Accessories, Text Editor. We're going to paste in that deposit address. The other thing I'm going to grab while we're at it is I'm going to go to the Wallet menu, Information, and I'm going to grab this Master pub Public Key. So. This is going to allow us to load the wallet in read-only or watch-only mode when we go to a computer that's online so that we'll be able to have all these addresses and see our balance and construct transactions, but we're not going to have the, the seed phrase or the private key available to spend out of the wallet. So now that we have these written down, we can save this file onto our second USB. That's this fat one here. And I'm just going to call it pub keys, pub key, pub key and address. And now we're done. We've written down our seed phrase. We've got our address to deposit to. We could shut tails down, send the money there and just leave it for a few years and keep it cold, you know, have your, your copies in multiple places. Um, that's all that we need to do to fund the wallet. I guess I'll actually show you spending funds there. So let me hop out of here and go to my CoinOS wallet. Um, I think I need to power this machine down actually. So that. Turning off my Tails machine. Now I have access to the USB stick on my regular computer. I'm getting the deposit address. I'm going to go send a payment there. Send two bucks. Canadian. Instead of create new seed, we're going to do use a master key. We're going to paste in, not our address, but our master pub key, the zpub key. Password can be blank. Okay, we're being told this wallet is watching only. You'll not be able to spend Bitcoins with it. Okay, good. So we can see our deposit here that we made. That's our $2 Canadian coming in. It's unconfirmed. But let's go through creating a withdrawal transaction. So let's say, you know, I've had my Bitcoins in cold storage. I need to take some out to spend them or sell them. Um, this is how we do it. So we've loaded our pub key into an unsafe environment. We've got our balance. We can see all our addresses. We can see the balance of the address we deposited to. And what we're going to do now is go to the send tab and we're going to Put in the address that we want to send the money to. So this could be from your 
pop wallet, so your CoinOS wallet, your exchange wallet. I'm just gonna grab a, an address here from my CoinOS account, paste it in. We're gonna send the max amount that should you know, be able to set the fee. And yeah, it calculates the fee. So it's probably just sending, it's probably using like a dollar or something for the fee. And then we'll actually be spending like 25 cents or 50 cents or something. So we're gonna save this transaction to a file on our USB stick. This is our unsigned transaction dot PSBT. And now to do the signature, we're going to have to go back into tail. Boot it into tails. It's totally clean, wiped, nothing on here. We're going to launch Electrum. Yeah. We're going to leave it as default wallet, standard wallet. And in this case, we are going to enter our seed phrase that we wrote down on paper. So we'll say I already have a seed. And we're going to type it in here. Again, make sure that no one's watching, no one's listening. I mean, people can even listen to your keystrokes and analyze them. So no recording devices. Put your phone in another room. Um, we're going to extend it with our magic words. Donuts are awesome. Leave the password blank. And we're back in. Uh, we can double check. See, we don't see our balance now because we're offline, but we can double check that we got the same address by going to applications, files. We're going to look at the USB stick and see what address we had written down there before. So, ends with P PJK8. Yeah, so that's, that's the one we deposited to, even though we don't see the balance here. Um, that's the one we constructed our transaction to spend from. So let's go to tools. We're going to load transaction from file. We're going to go to our computer slash media amnesia fat. So this is our USB stick where we saved the unsigned transaction earlier. I'm going to load that up. And yeah, it's showing us the transaction to spend the $2. So now the sign button is uh, not grayed out anymore. We can sign this and we're not going to be able to broadcast it here because we're not online so we'll export this back to a file this time it's a signed transaction put it on the usb drive and we can hop over to our online computer so we're back on the internet we're going to load up our electrum wallet we're going to go to tools, load transaction from file, and we're going to choose, oh, I have to power down tails so to get the USB to show up again. Okay, so I got access to the USB again. Get in there, grab the sign transaction, and we see sign is grayed out because, well, it's already signed and we couldn't sign it again if we wanted to because we don't have our private key loaded here. But what we can do is broadcast it. And there we go, we sent the payment, that's our transaction ID. We can take that and go to a block explorer like memcool.space. Go slash TX, paste that in, and here's our withdrawal transaction. So that's the full thing. I kind of went through it kind of quick, but 
Um, it's a video, so if you get stuck on any part, just rewind. If you have questions or I missed anything, let me know. Um, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.